Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today I'm going to do something that has been requested for quite a bit. It is a pro versus pro best of five against Hunter, as you can see. Hunter is an incredible ice whip player, you've probably heard of him. He has a number 71 global tourney finish, number 58 best ladder finish. He has a very nice YouTube channel, I will be linking that in the description below, definitely make sure to check it out if you haven't for some amazing ice bow gameplay. But yeah, today we're going to be doing a best of five, I'm going to be playing through Pinox Bow Cycle, he's going to be playing classic ice bow with Knight and Tesla, and we're going to be in for some nice matches today. So I'm going to send the first request here, and hopefully we can get some pretty cool games. Hunter is a very good player, so I'm honestly not expecting to do amazing in this one. I'm actually kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. I think in terms of the matchup, since he does have Knight, this is not really going to be my matchup. It's probably going to be closer to even. Uh, if Icebow has Valk, it's definitely going to be through Pinot's matchup, but with Knight, they can definitely keep up with your cycle a bit easier, because Knight costs the same as my Knight, whereas Valk is more expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and apply some single elixir pressure if I can. Actually, just going to go for an expo right here because it looks like he's leaking, so... Does go for a knight. Going to go archers in case he doesn't rock it, but he does rock it. Pretty smart play. So, it's kind of tough because in this matchup, when they go for a low knight like that, they kind of leave you to play and uh, the ball is kind of in your court, like... Or rather, the ball's in their court, but you have to make a decision. Like, do you want to risk them going for a rocket, and then if you predict with a knight or archers, it just gets rocketed? Or do you want to risk not predicting a rocket, then they go with a Tesla, and it just takes out your expo? So it's kind of a tough choice there. Um, but yeah, I think I want to go for a knight with this ice wizard, and then I can go for another expo. He goes for an expo of his own. I think I'm still going to make this play, because then I can go for archers on his expo, and he can't actually commit to it, because he has to take care of mine. So I can Ice Spirit 2 to make sure his one dies. He, as you can see, he wasn't really able to afford a log on mine. He was able to get a Tesla down, though, so that's going to be well played by him. I'm just going to take my Expo out, but I still think that was decent pressure on my end. Um, just kind of keeping the single elixir push going again. I outcycled his rocket for sure, but sadly he played pretty well, so I wasn't able to get anything out of it. So it looks like we're going to be heading into double elixir in about 30 seconds, but it looks like I won't be able to get a lock early on, which is kind of what I wanted. Um... But I might go for another expo right here, because Tesla is about to die. So maybe I can catch him without a rocket uh, this time if he tries to go for... Okay, he does just go for a rocket again. But if he tried to get away with not rocketing, I could have gotten a big lock there. But again, he's a very smart player. I'm going to stack archers here, because even though he can get log value, it is going to be in the lane that he's not really going for. So I'm gonna actually going to be fine with that. Not going to Ice Spirit with these archers, because again, I know he has logs. So that would just be a wasted Ice Spirit, exactly. Now I can Ice Spirit to pressure and log as well. And we do just get some chip. I'm going to go for another expo in the right because I think he might expect me to go in the left. So just kind of trying to catch him off guard. Archers to predict the Tesla. We actually do get it down. Going to get Knight as well to instantly block and log the Ice Wiz. Then cut the Knight out of expo range with my Ice Spirit Skeletons. He does get a second Knight down which is pretty smart. But I can actually go for another expo and he won't have a Knight in cycle. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about this right now. I think I want to go for the expo right here. And he does go for a defensive expo. Going to go for a Knight does get the ice whiz on top gonna log it back and try and make sure this expo stays alive because i think he's gonna be in a bit of trouble here gonna go ice spirit archers to break the tesla once again and he's not going for him but i'm gonna try and get back to a second expo i guess because i think he's spending quite a bit of elixir and obviously just kind of stalling out my expos instead of actually defending them um it does work out and he does go for defensive expo changing the momentum to be in his favor so i am just kind of forced to fireball that but I think it's okay, I'm just going to fireball, log the tower as well, and then go for a knight in the back. So usually when the defensive expo and uh, you fireball, you want to reset with a knight in the back to kind of keep your cycle in check, and just build up a push over time. He goes for a nato plus, I think he's going to log, so I'm going to go for an expo. Okay, he does not log, but uh, I'm going to get a knight down hopefully in time. Okay, perfect, I actually did get it down. going to go archers too, and he actually does go with a skeleton's log instead of going for a rocket, which means I think he's going to be in trouble, because he has to respond to this set of archers in the left as well, protected by the knight. And I should get a lock in the right. Also going to go for an expo on the left just to make sure uh, if he overcommitted to my expo on the right, then he would have been in a lot of trouble here. Going to go archers just to take the Tesla out early. We do force the Ice Wiz out and Skeleton, so that is pretty much going to be a really good situation for me. I mean, he's going to rocket cycle me out, I think, once triple starts. That's usually the Ice Bow game plan. But since I have a really nice damage lead going into triple, I feel a lot more comfortable about this. So that's generally what you want to do. You want to get a damage lead going into triple so that they can't rocket cycle freely. Because they will definitely out damage you. Going to Tesla in case he goes Tesla. And he does, so pretty nice play. Going to try and get back to a knight if I can uh, for his defensive expo. Or actually, yeah, I think it's worth it, but I was considering not going for one because my expo is very low on HP actually. Okay, his knight doesn't get down in time, which is perfect because it means mine is going to stay alive and his isn't. Going to go for an expo on the left. As he's forced to go for a Tesla on the right, 
And then he does also have to rocket my expo, so... I kind of want a fireball, but I think I'm going to play it really safe and just Tesla. He just go for an expo, going to go for a knight, and then skeletons up high in case he nados the knight out of range. Okay, he doesn't, but going to just fireball log, take care of the Tesla, almost kill the expo. As you can see, fireball log is so broken against expos. He does start his rocket cycle. I think I don't even want to go for expos. I'm just going to get two more fireballs down because he's only going to get two more rockets down max. So I can definitely... Uh, do that and he does go for an offensive expo so just going to defensive expo here he's forced to rocket it if he wants to get a guaranteed lock otherwise i'm just going to stall out forever and that is going to be good game and fireball again uh ice spirit just in case he goes nato on the night he does so yeah nice little uh awareness there and that is going to be a very nice first win in the best of five so one and oh for me um i think i just kind of had momentum for most of that game uh, I caught Hunter trying to Tesla on my expo a few times and actually did catch it. Sometimes if you try and let the expo go and try not to over defend your expo, you actually end up getting screwed over because they just defend it. And if they do like predict Tesla your expo or something, they can't even just rocket your tower for free. So it is kind of tough, but let's get into the second match here. Gonna give him the good luck again and Ice Spirit emote as well, starting out with an Ice Spirit 2. And I'm going to split archers now, let's see, because usually what I find when I'm playing Ice Bow, if the opponent splits archers, it's kind of awkward to respond. He does have to go for a knight in the back, so I'm definitely going to go Expo opposite. I think he's forced to rocket here. If he doesn't, he kind of loses, because, yeah, archer is helping as well, so he does log rocket. I do get one tick, I believe, so not too bad. I'm going to go knight, or skeletons for this knight, rather, cut it away, and just get a nice plus two trade there. And then I think I want to log on the left. I don't really want to go same lane as him. I don't know which is better, actually, on the same or opposite lane, but I feel like same isn't that good, because number one, they can just prediction Tesla. Uh, sometimes Icebo likes to set up Teslas anyways, like pre-Teslas in the Expo Mirror match. So if you're going the same lane, they can just get that pre-Tesla down and then kind of uh, annoy you, because you can't really go in while it's there. I'm going to go for an Expo myself, because I do have a Tesla up. He's, again, going to be forced to rocket this out, because... Uh, there's no way he's going to go for a Tesla on this Tesla. Actually, he might wait for it to die, but I doubt it, to be honest. Okay, he goes Log Ice Spirit, so he actually is going to try and let it die. So I'm going to go for a Log Ice Spirit just to try and defend, but he does get a Tesla down, so I have to let it go now. Not enough Elixir, so well played to him again. I'm actually kind of worried because now he has the Tesla the same way I did, kind of set up there, so he could maybe go in with that Tesla. We'll see if he does, though. Um, I think the Tesla is almost dead, so I could just go Knight Tesla anyways, and it should take it out. So yeah, he doesn't even go for it, so... Honestly, not bad. I mean, we have a small lead, but you really do want to try and get a lock in single. I think the main goal for Icebo is to survive single, and they can just spam defensive Expos, um, win Expo battles if they're good enough. I know Hunter definitely is good enough, so I'm kind of worried about that, because in this, in the last game, it went pretty well, but I feel like he's going to adapt and switch his playstyle up a bit, so I'm actually a bit worried right here as we're heading into double. Even though I have a small lead, it's definitely not uh, that safe right now. Don't want to get a false sense of security. So, kind of Ice Spirit. He actually go for a defensive expo, and I guess he was cycling back to a skeleton, so well played by him. Gonna fireball it off, and then again, gonna knight the back, like what I was talking about. And let's see if he actually rockets this. He might, um, but if he does, I'm definitely gonna go in. Gonna split archers. Yeah, he just goes for a knight in the back, so he's gonna play it kind of safe. I know sometimes they just rocket your knights off. I don't think they rocket archers, but knights kind of make sense. He goes for a log Tesla, so I actually was not expecting that at all. Gonna log myself and try and get a log here, but. I think I won't really get too much. He's back to his second knight, sadly. I think I want to go archers up high to cycle back to my expo and then go in instantly. Again, I really want to keep the pressure up in this matchup and try and have momentum be on my side at all times if I can help it. Because if I let him get defensive and just uh, like fall prey to one of his defenses at one point, he could just start the rocket cycle and I can't really have damage that. So I'm going to go for a knight expo. This is a bit aggressive, to be honest. He goes for a defensive expo himself. We'll see how this goes, though. Gonna fireball it, I think. I don't think I can win this battle, so I'm just gonna take the fireball on the expo and then, like, try and slightly protect my expo, um, but still kind of accepting that it died again, which is why I fireballed, because if you fireball an expo, you're kind of conceding that you're not really gonna break through in the defense, you're just trying to, or in the offense, rather, you're just trying to get tower damage, because, yeah, okay, kind of unfortunate that I split archers into his defensive expo. We are still in the lead by quite a bit, but I'm a bit worried, to be honest. I might knight the back, yeah, and let's see if he rockets this. This time I think he might, because, I mean, it is going into my weaker tower. Yeah, he does. Sadly, I can't really punish that, because the expo's still alive, so kind of well played by him. I couldn't really go in. I think I want to go in now, though, because rocket is relatively far on a cycle. Goes for a log gun tonight to predict the Tesla, and he does get the Tesla down. 
well actually really well played nato on his end again he's a very good nato player so he basically defended that while being down elixir by playing a very smart tornado pulling my knight out of my expo's range so that the tesla retargeted onto my expo very unfortunate gonna try and get a knight down hopefully I get it down in time okay that is probably gonna be a good game now honestly because he can just rocket me out if he wants to i'm gonna fireball the expo i think he can genuinely just rocket my tower here because i messed up he doesn't he's playing it safe actually he might be going in yeah he does i'm actually kind of scared uh, so I do have to get back to a knight to protect my expo, I feel. Um, and I'll see how this goes. He goes for a nato. Wow, prediction nato on my knight. Uh, or rather, on my expo, I guess. And he just rockets my tower. Yeah, he definitely can. So I'm in a lot of trouble now, because again, rocket cycle is imminent, and I can't really do much about it. Gonna go in, but I think he can back get back to another rocket relatively soon. Goes for a low expo, so that my defense expo doesn't target it. Gonna try and defend this, but yeah, he gets a tesla down. I don't think I can defend this, to be honest. Um, I mean, he's playing this very well right now, so he kind of just outplayed me in this match. I'll give it to him um, with a prediction natos and everything. And I'm going to try and get two fireballs down, but he's definitely going to get a rocket down, so I think he's still going to outdamage me. Unless this ice break connects, but I doubt it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, he does protect it, so sadly that is going to be a good game. Very, very close match. I mean, I only lost by about 150 HP, but... Those prediction natos really made the difference. Number one, on the knight protecting my expo, allowing his Tesla to retarget. Number two, on my knight pulling it out of my defensive expo's protecting range. So his expo started targeting my expo, and that was just honestly well played. So yeah, let's go into the next one. One and one now, so kind of intense. Um, we are perfectly even, so again, I feel like he's kind of found his footing in this matchup. Uh, he's playing a lot better right now, and I'm a bit worried. Because uh, I really want to make something happen in single if I can help it. So I might just try an expo. Okay, actually just misclicked uh, by one tile. That's really bad. He goes for a knight test off the bridge. I'm actually kind of scared because I kind of tried to starting hand him, I'll be honest. But now I might have started handing myself just because I don't have knight anywhere in cycle. I Like, if he goes expo with a Tesla, I'm kind of screwed, to be honest. Like, I have to go archers or log to cycle back to my knight. Yeah, if I went log to cycle back to my knight, I don't think I could have gotten the knight down in time. So... I kind of had to go for my archers there. Um, I guess with that in mind, I shouldn't have gone log at all, but I don't know. I'm going to get some damage, but he's going to get a ton of damage. Actually, I didn't even get... I don't know why I said that. I didn't get any damage except for a log, so this is looking very bad right now. He gets a lot of damage on me because that was just really, really bad. Uh, so I guess lesson learned, don't try and starting hand them if you don't have knight in cycle, because if they counter push, you will kind of get destroyed. I really want to fireball that, actually, just because I kind of need to get tower damage back. But I feel like I'm in a bit of trouble because, yeah, he goes knight the back. I'm at six, so I'm probably down four elixir right now. Uh, so I kind of want a defensive expo um, into his expo, but I want to wait to see. Okay, he does go for one, so kind of defensive expo and then cycle back to my knight. So it's kind of sketchy, honestly, like whenever you want to get a knight down in a defense. And he doesn't rocket me out, and he actually can't afford to do that because I just went defensive expo, which means I have no expo in cycle at all to uh, punish him so I think this game is already lost to be honest it really sucks um, but lesson learned like do not do that starting hand play that I tried to do but yeah I don't really don't see me coming back from this uh, 1000 HP deficit right now so very unfortunate um, but I'm still gonna try I guess because I mean it is the best of five we're both gonna do our best I'm gonna go for an expo this is honestly very aggressive I didn't even split archers first and I'm gonna knight to predict the Tesla I just really need something to happen so I'm trying to make it happen even if it's kind of forced. Um, gonna archers for a Tesla, possibly. I really want to fireball the Ice Wiz plus a Tesla. Sadly, the Ice Wiz just barely is not in range. Even if it was, I wouldn't have really gotten much damage, honestly. Now he goes for an Expo, and the fireball is like two cards out of cycle, so yeah, I think this game is definitely over. I have to log... Okay, it's three cards out of cycle. I have to log the Expo, not even the Tower, because... Okay, it's four cards out of cycle. Oh my god. Because, um, like, I have a really bad cycle. I didn't really have a choice there. Gonna go Archer's opposite. Sometimes I like to do that against Ice Bow because they don't have a Fireball, so they can't punish it that well. They can Log, they can NATO, but n neither of those kill the Archers uh, by themselves. You have to pair them together. Gonna Ice Spirit. He does just Rocket my Tower. And again, sadly, he can kind of just afford to do that as much as it sucks because uh, I'm just in a lot of trouble right here. And I'm going to try and go in with an expo, but I think he's going to cycle back to his rocket in time. Because again, he doesn't have that bad of a cycle like compared to me. He only is missing one cycle card. As you can see, he's already back to his rocket, so I tried to outcycle him there. Didn't really work out, though. Going to fireball log to predict the skeletons, maybe. Does get an ice whiz down, so yeah, he's going to defend that. So, the only difference in cycle is that he has a tornado and I have a cycle card, so it's a two elixir difference. But 
still like it's not the end of the world um like valk is more impactful because not only do they have a nato instead of a cycle card they also have a one more elixir expensive mini tank but with knight and ice bow it's a lot more manageable so i really don't think i can come back here i'm gonna go in in the left try and capture him off guard maybe he predicts me in the right but nope he's too smart for that so he's just gonna rocket me out and yeah that is pretty much going to be good game i said it like three times but honestly this game was sealed from the start because i kind of just messed up big time um, yeah, defensive expo, I have to fireball it, so he's playing smart, like, when Ice Bow's in the lead, and just stacking defensive expos, there's really nothing you can do, I kinda have to let that Ice Wizard go, cause there's no way I can commit archers or knight just for one Ice Wiz hit, so it really sucks. In a log, and try and get tower damage back, I mean, I guess I'm still kind of within 1000 HP, but he's just kinda maintained this lead the whole time, so, I don't know, I, I went for a knight in case he tried to not rock it, cause his expo did get some chip on me, but yeah, he's still not really, uh messing around at all just going for the rockets gonna fireball the expo and i think log the expo as well i really need something to happen so i can't even log for tower damage now i just need a connection but i don't know if it's gonna happen he goes for a pre-tesla i think i'm gonna stack archers and then okay defense expo. i'm gonna try and win a defensive expo battle i guess and then maybe try and go in okay wow i don't get the knight down in time so that was a really good nato on his end again that's gonna be a good game i'm actually gonna give up right here because that is Sadly, just going to be it, um, but yeah, he played this one pretty well, pretty much the whole game momentum was on his side, and that is going to be well played by him, so, 2-1 to Hunter now, looking very tense right now, I am in the back seat, and let's see how the next one goes. Alright guys, so I had to cut the video because I did get a phone call, but I am back now, uh, challenging for the final one, so, final one if I lose, hopefully I don't, but we will see in our third match, or fourth match against Hunter, 2-1 to him right now. Gonna give him the good luck and the Goblin Fire, because this is definitely not fine right now. Um, gonna cycle Log, and Archers are nowhere to be seen, sadly, so... Kind of an awkward hand, actually. Gonna go Ice Spirit and see if I can force something out. Okay, Ice Wiz, gonna go for an Expo opposite, because I have a really bad hand. Like, I don't want to go Knight into nothing. He just rocketed it out, so... I don't think I want to go Archers into that. I mean, it is gonna get, like, two or three hits, which kind of sucks. But I feel like it might have been overcommitment, because... I don't know, like, it just felt kind of bad. I don't know, maybe it was a mistake, because, I mean, I took two or three Ice Wiz hits, I don't even remember. Um, but, yeah, it's it's small enough. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Then again, one, uh, one of the matches before, he won by, like, 150 HP, so maybe that damage will be the difference maker. Who knows? Anyway, just going to fireball the Expo off. He goes for a defensive Expo, so not really messing around at all. Again, Ice Bow's goal is pretty much just to survive single Elixir, so it kind of makes sense why he's playing like this. Um, I really want to break through, but... He's already back to a rocket, I think, so even if I uh, expo, he's probably just going to rocket this out, and I won't really have much I can do. He goes for the low knight, so again, he's... Okay, he goes Ice Wiz Tesla, really well played again. I was expecting him to definitely just rocket that out, but he is doing a good job of mixing stuff up, so... Uh, yeah, like, when they go knight in the back, ex or knight low, rather, exactly what I was talking about, where it's kind of just in their court where they can decide if they want to rocket or do something else, and you are the one who has to either predict them to Tesla, or let it go to a rocket. If you predict wrong, you can be in a lot of trouble. So, yeah, he goes for another defensive expo. Does catch the Ice Spirit too. Just going to fireball it out, I guess, and see how we go from here. I mean, at least I'm getting fireball damage on his expo. So if he just keeps going defensive expos, I will be getting fireballs constantly. It's mostly when he starts going in or we do a defensive expo battle or something like that. And he gets a good NATO off and I lose the battle. Then it gets really bad. He goes for a NATO on my archers. So I'm going to go in right now. That was three elixir. He does go rocket. This will get one hit on the tower at least still. Uh, so that is still going to put me... Not even in the lead, actually. He's in the lead because of that NATO. So not looking great, honestly. Going to go for a pre-Tesla, I think. Just in case he goes for an Expo. Um, and it would take the Ice Wiz out anyways. Goes in now in the left. I think... In the right, rather. I think I want to go in in the left. Because uh, I do have a Tesla up. And then I can go Archers again for the Expo. So same as the last time. He, As you can see, he's not really going for a log on my Expo. Instead, he goes for a log on my Expo. Uh, or... Rather, he can't go for a log on my archers, he had to go log on my expo, and that was able to just get away with a positive trade against the expo. Gonna go for an expo myself now, protect against this ice whiz while also starting an offensive initiative. He goes for a knight in the back, so defensive expo coming down this time, gonna try and protect it, uh, but also just fireball the expo out. Yeah, he goes Tesla, so I'm gonna try and protect this expo, but I mainly just want to get the tower damage and not just concede my expo entirely. So I do take his expo out, and I'm still in the lead on the right. So this is looking a lot better now. I have a nice 
farm 300 or so damage lead and it's not looking too bad um goes for an ice is gonna go for an expo defensive expo comes down knight instantly to protect and then i do have to surround the ice was hopefully I can get it down okay i missed one so i got like one hit but it's fine i think i have to get back to a knight I'm gonna log this expo down and i might be able to get a small lock here okay he does go for ice Wiz last second so well played to him um i kind of want to go in but i'm slightly low on elixir i'm gonna do the same thing i did last time expo for the ice Wiz and the knight on front uh to tank for the expo and i think that expo is actually in range but this time i might try and defend the expo uh try and get back to a knight so because i've been fireballing quite a lot Okay, sadly it's not going to work out, so I think I should have just fireballed. Because I know you have to cycle four cards to get back to your knight. Okay, wow, he actually goes in here. I'm in a bit of trouble. I want to get a fireball off, I think, just to get the tower damage. But that might have been a bad decision, actually, because, I mean, this is kind of sketchy. You're going to log, and then archers, but wow, that actually might be a good game, sadly. So maybe the fireball was a misplay. Maybe I should have gone for a defensive expo. Um, and, you know, in the low placement where he can't get a... Uh, hit on it with his own defense expo. Wow, another really nice NATO on his end. He's just on point with the NATOs today. So that's going to make my expo get taken out. I think that's going to be a good game, to be honest, because, I mean, he has a Tesla up. He has a defensive expo up. I'm still going to try and defensive expo myself. Try and hold on, but it's looking very dire right now. going to fireball log on the expo. Wait till the Tesla pops up to log, and then I think I have to go in, because um, he's probably going to rock it. Okay, wow, he actually protects his expo. I definitely have to go in. He goes defense fast, but I think it's game now. He's going to defend this and then just rocket me out. And rocket does more than a fireball, so it is going to be over, sadly. Going to log as well, but yeah, knight is back. There's no way I can break through. I'm going to try and get back to a new knight. Even if I do, though, and I do, um, he still gets a rocket down in my tower, sadly. So that is going to be a good game. And that is going to be a loss in the best of five against Hunter. Unfortunately, he kind of destroyed me at the end. Um, that one was slightly closer. Uh, the first one was very good for me. The second one was very tight. The third one was just kind of a disaster on my end, and that one, this one just now, was very close. I think I just made one mistake, mainly, which was the fireball log on the expo when he was up a lot, so... That's gonna be a good game. Well played to Hunter. He does end up reverse sweeping 3-0. Well played to him. Uh, gonna give him the Ice Wiz emote. For sure, he's a very talented player. Again, I feel like if Ice Wiz survives single elixir, it's not that bad of a matchup for them, but he definitely outplayed me with some of those tornadoes again. So, very well played to him. And I'm not really salty about that or anything. He played very well and he deserved that. Hello, SK fans. Okay, I guess I'll say hello, Hunter fans. But yeah, definitely check out his YouTube channel if you guys haven't before. He's an amazing player. But that's about gonna do it for the video, guys. I so hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see another pro versus pro best of five take care and i will see you in the next one